Yeah, guys, it really just ended out here. We're at Johnson Court right off of West 6, where it just ended. But I'll, I'll tell you what I know. As of just a couple minutes ago, I spoke to a sergeant. He said there were over a dozen arrests. He would not give me an exact number. That's about a range. Um, no one has been charged. There, no one has been booked at this time. They're just in the transport vans, taking them over there. But again over a dozen arrests but I'll take you back to where it all started we we followed them from 7 30 until now uh, groups were breaking up dispersing going through East 4th that's kind of where the arrests started they were going through East 4th you know breaking that up things were being thrown but again police there immediately breaking things up that's where crowds were really dispersing the most breaking them up in smaller groups then they came down here to West 6th police then ran on West 6th forcing the protesters onto Johnson Court. That, that actually sandwiched them into the alleyway. What that did, they made some arrests there. At one point in time, I was told about five were in the transport van, but this alley completely empty now. Police tell me just minutes ago that they will be wrapping up here in this area because this is all over again. This was filled hundreds of police officers with shields, uh, about, a fi about 50 protesters at that time. Again, not sure of the arrest. He said over a dozen, no charged, no booked yet. They're just being transported. They're trying to figure that out, trying to figure out what they're going, maybe charging them with, if not at all. He said right now they were being arrested for failure to disperse on the streets of Cleveland. But again, right now we're on Johnson Court where it all kind of just ended, and hopefully we'll all be going home very soon tonight. But we'll never know. These groups are very spread out here tonight. Live in downtown off of West 6 on Johnson Court, I'm Meg Shaw for News Channel 5.